Good evening. Our big story tonight, a changing of the guard for the Arizona Department of Public Safety. Colonel Frank Milstead announced that he is stepping down from his position after a controversial tenure as Arizona's top cop. Team 12's Bram Resnick has a story, and Bram, the new director, has a somewhat controversial past of his own. That's right. Frank Milstead's legacy might be a viral video. His successor, second in command Heston Silbert, still dealing with a lawsuit stemming from a fatal high-speed chase. Frank Milstead state troopers keep our highway safe. Top fuse guys going about over 90 miles an hour, weave into traffic, not using you guys' turn signals. Milstead's unfortunate legacy might be this viral video, dodging a ticket last year for criminal speeding. I don't know if that'll help at all. What is it? You're a... He's the colonel. Oh. Milstead now announcing his retirement after five years leading the Arizona Department of Public Safety. In law enforcement, especially in leadership, we live in a storm. Every day is a storm. Milstead's the son of a DPS director. He isn't sure about his next move, but he's looking forward to the break. Within the storm, then lightning strikes, power lines go down, something happens, and then you deal with the crisis within the storm, and that takes a toll on you. Milstead's greatest challenge came soon after his 2015 appointment by Governor Doug Ducey, the freeway shootings that terrorized the valley. I don't think anything has gone wrong in the case to have charges dismissed. But DPS's lab botched the case. Suspect Leslie Merritt Jr. was freed, and his wrongful arrest lawsuit has cost the state more than $2 million in legal bills. Milstead's successor, Heston Silbert, has worked under him for 20 years. Silbert will oversee an agency with 1,200 troopers and 900 civilians. Highway Patrol is the number one job, but DPS also runs a crime lab and handles weapons permits and fingerprint clearance cards. Can you tell DPS 2 to back off, please? We've told them multiple times. Silbert still dealing with the aftermath of that 2017 chase. He was off duty in the black pickup, pursuing a car theft suspect at speeds up to 90 miles per hour. The suspect was killed, the death resulting in a still pending lawsuit against DPS and the town of Gilbert. And Frank Milstead's final day in his $200,000 a year job is April 3rd. Back over to you. Bram, thank you.